Hurricane is still on the move as we speak after a relatively mild start to the hurricane season. So let's of course check in with our chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb who is tracking that storm's path and everything else to go along with that Chris. You saw that impact at Turks and Caicos right now and that's even as the storm is pulling away from Turks at this hour. The center of the storm right now well to the north of Turks and Caicos and it is getting stronger. It is a major category three storm on the high end of category three on the cusp of becoming a category four. We expect it to become a category four tomorrow. Here you can see Turks and Caicos right here. The storm is out over open water now, and as it's over that open water, it'll continue to move to the north, most likely becoming a category four tomorrow. This is Bermuda. It looks like the storm is going to be just to the west of Bermuda, not a direct hit on the island, but Bermuda is going to be on the more active side of the storm, so they will still see some big impacts there, and then moving up toward the north and the east. No direct impact impact on the U.S. coastline. However, there will be some rough surf there as well. We also have Tropical Storm Gaston right up here. That's going to stay up in the North Atlantic. And then this is the one we really need to watch, especially as we head into next week. This storm now has a 70 to 90 percent chance of developing over the next two to five days. The next name on the list is Hermine. It is going to get stronger into the Caribbean. And then our extended models show this getting into the Gulf of Mexico too early to tell where it would go. And again, that wouldn't be until next week. Stay with us. We'll track not only these storms, but also let you know about more heat in our area tomorrow and whether or not we're going to cool down as fall officially begins this week.